Shravan. Once again, Shravan began his journey by lifting the bamboo branch onto his shoulder. The sun was shining brightly and Shravan went on walking. In the afternoon, Shravan's parents felt thirsty. Shravan put down the bamboo branch under a shady tree. He cleaned the spot by removing dry leaves, twigs and thorns and made his parents sit there among the lush green trees. Shravan took a pot and left the place in search of water. On the way, he heard the sweet sound of water and quickly went in that direction. He saw a beautiful river and he went over to it. He was also very thirsty. The water was cool and fresh. And as he tried to quench his thirst, he thought of his thirsty parents. Shravan realized that his thirsty parents would be waiting for him anxiously. So he dipped the pot in the river water. At that time, Ayodhya's king Dashrat was wandering in the forest in search of prey. He heard the sound of water and thought it was the sound of an animal drinking water. But he could not see any animal. So he shot an arrow in the direction of the sound. The arrow went out of his bow and struck the unseen target. Alas! The arrow struck the chest of Shravan and the whole forest echoed with his painful cries. <gasps> King Dashrat trembled and he rushed towards the river. He saw that Shravan was crying with an arrow pierced in his chest. King Dashrath pulled out the arrow quickly and Shravan could hardly breathe. He was near death and he told King Dashrath his name. He was barely able to tell him about his parents and while pointing at the pot of water, he died. King Dashrath's heart was filled with grief. He realized his mistake, but nothing could be done. King Dashrath now thought of Shravan's parents and picked up the pot of water. Filled with grief, with a heavy heart, he walked towards Shravan's parents. When Shravan's mother heard the sound of footsteps of a stranger, She asked who it was. King Dashrath was sad and he stood there without uttering a single word. His heart was wounded with grief. Slowly he told them that he was King Dashrath. By mistake he had shot an arrow and he stopped. Shravan's father impatiently asked him to continue. King Dashrath continued talking. He told them that by mistake the arrow had hit Shravan and killed him. King Dashrath added that they could treat him as their son and he would serve them as Shravan. King Dashrath was trying to reduce their grief by assuring them that he would take them on their pilgrimage and then to his palace. Shravan's parents were full of grief. They wept and grieved 
for their dead son. They could not bear the shock of their son's death and fell down dead. But at the time of death, Shravan's father cursed King Dashrath and said that he would die with the grief of parting from his son. King Dashrath was stunned and the pot fell down from his hands. Thar! There was water and broken pieces of pot all around. With a grieving heart, King Dashrath returned to his palace through the gloomy forest. A long time has passed, but even today, parents long to have a son, a son as devoted as Shavan.